Yo, 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 what's up, world? What's happening? This your boy, Fresh Off Hoin, back with another episode of Player Talk. How y'all doing out there? I hope everybody been uh, feeling good, feeling great. Hope y'all been um, staying on that grind, remaining ambitious, and of course, keeping a player at all times. Beautiful day today in the shots. A little chilly, but um, beautiful day, man. Sun out. Shining, it's Saturday, you know, it's the weekend, party time for a lot of uh, a lot of y'all, time to kick it, you know, <clears throat> been a long week, time to let your head down and, you know, relax. Uh, yeah, uh, a couple days ago, I performed at um, Chicago Mini Fest, uh, shout out to Bridge and the Music for um, putting that together. Uh, yeah, down at, um, on Newport Street on, uh, the north side of Chicago. Uh, pretty lit show, man. Got a lot of, a lot of dope acts, man. You know what I'm saying? All my people came out, you know what I'm saying? Showed up and showed out, you know what I'm saying? A lot of love, a lot of support, man. Salute everybody that came out and rocked with me, man. The, the, the love was definitely real. I uh, just want to thank y'all, each and every one of y'all, you know what I'm saying, for coming out on a Thursday, man. I know it's tough. I know people, you know, <clears throat> got busy schedules, working all that. Uh, definitely appreciate everybody who bought streaming tickets to the, you know, watch a boy perform live. Definitely appreciate it, man. That love, you know, goes a long way, man. You feel me? Definitely. Definitely. Um, I'm definitely... Uh, Thankful for that. Definitely thankful for that, man. Gratitude. Uh, yeah, man. Uh, today's topic, man. We gonna talk about uh something that's been, you know, going circulating around the internet. Well, a- around the world, man. A lot of talks about about this, man. Um, now, uh, I believe it was last week. Uh, Kanye West, one of the biggest celebrities of our time, worldwide celebrity. Um, he had um, a fashion show for his brand, uh, I guess the Yeezy brand, and uh, him and and uh, he, he, he decided to wear a t-shirt with a saying on it, White Lives Matter, which um, stirred up a lot of controversy, man. Uh, mainly amongst black people, uh, uh, it felt like a, um, a slap in the face to a lot of us, uh, because of, you know, I mean, everybody knows, the world knows, you know, what's going on in, in our country, in our world, man, well, mainly, mostly in our country, um, you know, how, uh, you know, blacks get treated unfairly, getting killed every day by police, and, you know, just the, um, regular, mistreatment of of black people or whatever and as we all know um uh you know they came out with <clears throat> the slogan uh black lives matter they, you know it turned into a movement or whatever and um you know some people say that that the move the whole black lives matter movement was a scam or whatever, it was a money grab, or, you know, a political thing, or whatever, um, not really gonna go into detail about that, because, for one, I really don't know too much about that, um, but, anyway, just, just like, in my opinion, just like, you know, just the thought of that, like, the, you know, the concept of that, you know, the Black Lives Matter, like, you know, that's powerful, you know, um, it's real powerful, man, in a time like this, uh, because, you know, apparently in our country, a lot of people don't feel that, that black lives matter, you know, actions speak louder than words, you know, we see it every day, man, just turn on your TV, your news, um, you just see it every day, man, you know, now, um, me, I love everybody, and, uh, me, I, I do feel that all lives do matter, you know, uh, which they do, man. It, it really don't matter the color of your skin, man. I love everybody. I feel like everyone deserves a a, a fair shake, man, at, at, at life. 
you know, a fair chance, you know. Um, now, in me feeling that way, you know, I wouldn't, I don't feel the need to, um, I wouldn't, I wouldn't have done what, what he did. I wouldn't, I wouldn't, you know, advertise that, you know, white lives matter or whatever, you know, in, in our country and, and, you know, during the state of things, um, it's just real controversial, man. It's like, like I said, man, it's like a slap in the face, like, you know, um, all the things that, 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 you know, black people have been through, you know, um, and it's, it's not the first time that, uh, you know, Kanye has, you know, made headlines for being controversial and, you know, doing and saying like reckless things, you know, we had the slavery was a choice thing, the whole make America great hat thing or whatever. And, uh, a lot of people say like, you know, it's like a method to the madness or whatever. And, you know, he's like aiming at, at, you know, something bigger and it's something bigger in store and it's a reason for all of that. And, um, I mean, if it is, you know, I feel like it's time to expose that reason, you know, because I'm really just seeing the madness right now. I really don't I, I really don't see the, the method to it right now. You know, um, yeah, it's just real crazy. Um, like, uh, yeah, man, he, he, he even went on he went on the net to like say that. You know, Black Lives Matter was a scam, like the whole foundation. Even if it was, you know, you can't take away from from the message of that. You know, the you know, if it was a scam or whatever, whatever, you know, it gave a lot of people hope. You know, it it, it kind of impact just the thought, the concept of Black Lives Matter. You know, they gave you know a lot of people hope, and you know. It, it, it made people feel like, you know, it was something going in their favor, you know, and to just, you know, come, come doing this is just like, you know, we going backwards. You feel me now, like any other person, like, you know, a regular person, you know, it probably wouldn't, uh, you know, it's, it's still, it's still the same. It's, it's still wrong in my opinion, you know, but like any regular person like would have would have wore this shirt, you know, out in public, you know, it wouldn't have it wouldn't have made headlines or whatever. You know, it it probably wouldn't have meant as much, but you know, we talking about one of the the biggest celebrities in the world, you know, uh worldwide. Like it's not too many people in the world that, you know, don't know his name. He's like a household name. You know, and he he's a, a real influential person, like, to, you know, people my age, people older than me, like, and most importantly, man, our, our, our youth, man, our, our kids, you know, those coming up, you know, they, they, you know, these kids, they watching, you know, and they look up to these people, you know, these celebrities, you know, so you got to be careful, like, what you put out there. You feel me? You got to be careful about the, the narrative that you, that you putting on display. You know, because uh, it affects a lot of people, you know, and uh, yeah, man, a lot of people really didn't take too kindly to this. Um, a lot of celebrities, you know, went public, you know, with their opinion on, on it. Uh, one in particular, uh, Lil Boosie, um, he, he had a lot to say about it or whatever. He felt he felt like me, like like a lot of people, like it wasn't right. Um you know, he, he feels like it was a slap in the face to black people again, you know, for the, I don't know how many of the time, you know, back Kanye West, um, you know, and, uh, I guess Kanye got wind of his response and, uh, and responded with his own message, uh, saying that, um, he's basically fighting back against, uh, you know, all the, the, the black the, the, the black celebrity community for bullying him or whatever. Now, I'm not really sure about what he means by that, by being bullied by the black community. Now, um, 
What I can say is, you know, uh, we all know that, you know, he's worth a lot of money, Kanye West. You know, he's uh, he's a billionaire these days. And, um, you know, you, you like like 40, I don't know his exact age, but we just going to round it off to 40, you know, you 40, you're a 40 year old billionaire and your response to, you know, this foolishness is you fighting back against being bullied by celebrities, by black celebrities. Now, I don't really know what he means by that, but, um, you know, I know a lot of people always have a lot to say about the stuff that he does, because, you know, he does a lot of questionable things, you know, and everybody's in, in like, just like he would say, everybody's entitled to their opinion, you know, uh, but I wouldn't necessarily call it bullying. I mean, but even if so, like, like I said, man, you're like a 40 year old billionaire. Why are you worried about being bullied? How can you bully a billionaire? You know what I'm saying? Like, we not, this not grade school. This not, you know, this not elementary school. Like, you know, people, like, I mean, I really feel bad for you if you're that old and you got that much power and you got that much going on that you are still affected by people, what people are saying on the internet. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's, it's people, I mean, it really don't matter what you do, negative, positive, what's your stance on anything, any subject. You know, people going to have something to say, you know, people going to hate, people going to have negative things to say, people going to have different opinions on the things that you say, on the things that you do. Now, it's up to you if you're going to let that, you know, make you or break you, if you're going to take that and, and feel harmed by it. You know, it's an old saying, sticks and stones, you know, may break your bones, but words could never hurt you. Now, you know, I, I mean, I... I really don't understand how you could let words hurt you when you, this, this worldwide, you know, mogul, you know what I'm saying? You, like, I'm sure even way before you even, way before you found stardom, before you, you know, rose to fame and, and all your money and everything, I'm sure you came across a lot more, um, uh, bullying, I guess, as he would call it, you know what I'm saying, so, but, I mean, you, you kept going, you know, I mean, you even put it in a song, everything I'm not may be everything I am, you know, I was talking to some people online, and, um, I guess they was trying to justify what he was saying about being bullied, um, they was saying, um, how, you know, his his style of rap, his style of music is not like anybody else's. And, you know, how the world is so attracted to this, like, drill music, gang-banging music, like, thugged out gangster music or whatever. And he got, like, a whole separate lane or whatever. But my argument to that was, you know, when, when Kanye first came out, like, everybody, the, the world loved him. You know, your gangsters, your trappers, your... Any you like you name it, everybody was rocking with Kanye. You know he was doing features with everybody, the thugs, the you know the the dope boys and the gangster rappers and all that. He was doing features with them, beats for them, and all that. You know what I'm saying? So I don't understand how that could be an argument. You know, um, and even even if so, like, um, you know. His style of music got him, you know, a long way. It got him where he is today, you know, probably not the whole way because, you know, he got a lot of, you know, other things going on, business ventures and, you know, clothing lines and shoes and, you know, all of that. Uh, But, um, yeah, so I don't really understand how that could be an argument. So, um. Yeah, man, it's just, it's, it's, I just really don't don't understand it, man. And, like, you know, like I said, this ain't the first time he's, you know, went public with something outlandish, you know, that, like, people can't believe. Like, you know, um, you know, I, I would say it's, it's, like, for shock value. I mean, but even to say that is crazy because, you know, you're Kanye West, you don't, 
I mean, you're not trying to promote an album. I mean, you don't really even have to. You don't have to do anything. Anything you do is going to, you know, go worldwide, you know, without any extra effort. You know, you don't have to do, you don't have to pull publicity stunts and do and say outlandish stuff in the media to get noticed, to get, you know, to promote a project or to promote anything that you're doing because, you know, you're a household name. People going to know anyway. You know what I'm saying? Word of mouth just going to spread. You feel me? You could just get on there and make a simple tweet. I'm dropping an album next week and the world is going to go crazy anyway. You don't have to, you know what I'm saying? Or you don't have to do anything for attention. Like, to me, it's just, man, you know, it's a, a grown dude just just seeking attention, man. You know what I'm saying? And it's it's just really sad. And uh, I notice like a lot of people like when he does these crazy things, I notice a lot of people saying like, oh, yeah, it's it's mental health and he's got mental health issues. And but I, I, I totally disagree, man. It's I, I don't think that's that's a legit excuse for uh, his behavior. Um, like I said, man, I think it's just uh, seeking attention, man, like. I feel like it's a slap in the in the face to to people that really have mental mental health issues. You know, uh, I'm from Chicago, just like Kanye West, and um, like man, just rolling through the through the streets, man, through the hoods and everything. Not even just the hood. Like you go anywhere, man, in Chicago, and I'm sure it's like this everywhere and a lot of places, like. I know Chicago is real bad because um, it's it's a lot of people with mental health issues uh, in my city and it's not no it's no resources for those people, you know, and it's no it's really no help. It's no nowhere for those people to turn, nowhere for them to go. And you just see like a lot of these people just like wandering around in the streets and like you could clearly look at them and tell them like tell like, you know, something's not right with them. And, you know, it's real sad, man. And like those people really have mental health issues and they really need help, you know. And and for this dude, you know, who's a billionaire and, you know, got all the wealth and everything going on for him, you know, to just do outlandish stuff. Um, I don't think you can blame mental mental health issues. I don't think you can blame that. You feel me? Like it's people out here really suffering from that, you know? So I, I, I think that's just like a, a, a sad excuse for it, man. You know, and I know, I know he got a lot of fans, a lot of people that, you know, love and support him and, and, you know, they want to justify his actions by, by all means, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, I don't, that ain't the right way to do it. You feel me? You know, some, some, some things is just, plain old crossing the line. I don't care who you are, you know, how much, you know, you worth or, you know, how much people love you. I don't, you know, it's just, it's just a line that, that shouldn't be crossed, you know, no matter who you are or what you got going on or whatever, you know, and a lot of people saying, uh, you know, he ain't been right since his mom passed or whatever. And, you know, I, I mean, I, I definitely empathize with him about that because, you know, I lost my mom too. you know what I'm saying? And, and, and it's tough. It's real tough. You know, uh, you know, people lose their moms and fathers and children and, you know, loved ones every day. But, you know, that really don't give you as as a as a grown adult that don't give you an excuse to um to act out. You know, to that don't give you an excuse to to act out of character. You feel me? Um, maybe if you was like, if you was a child, you know, you know, children, you know, they 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 take like trauma and you know it goes with them and you know because they don't really know how to deal with it. You know, I mean, some adults don't know how to deal, you know, with trauma the best either too. But you know. Time, you know, as an adult, you got to know, like, time heals all wounds. You feel me? Like, you know, I lost my mom um, a long time ago, and, you know, it was tough, but, you know, uh, I, you know, you got to live life, you know what I'm saying? I, um, you, you know, life goes on, man. You got to, you got to do, do what you can and try your best to, you know, 
overcome that. You know, you never you never forget about that that person or you never you're going to always feel that loss. You're going to always feel that pain. But, you know, you you can't just use that as an excuse to to for for senseless behavior. You know what I'm saying? Like. You know, I know I know a lot of people that have lost parents and and people that's dear to them and they're nowhere near billionaires and they don't they're you know, they don't have nearly the 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 success or the wealth or you know what I'm saying? And they're they don't act out like that. They don't, you know, act foolish and you know what I'm saying? And then and, you know, blame it on Oh, cause they lost a parent. That's just not as as an adult. That's just unacceptable, man. And I feel like people should should really just um stop trying to justify foolish behavior just because of um you know you're a fan or you're a supporter or you're you know it's it's a person you idolize. Like it's just it's not acceptable, man. It's really not. Um, yeah, but yeah, just like always, man, I want y'all opinion, man. I want y'all, um, feedback on what y'all feel about, you know, about the situation. Um, y'all know where y'all can find me at, uh, the Player Talk, um, podcast page on Facebook, um, Instagram. Hit me up. Let me know y'all thoughts, uh, how y'all feeling about it. You know what I'm saying? And, uh. Y'all just enjoy y'all weekend, man. Y'all party in peace. Drink responsibly. Do your thing responsibly. You know what I'm saying? Wrap it up. You know, just just be safe, man. You know, make sure you make it home safe. You know what I'm saying? And and uh, like always, stay on that grind. Stay ambitious. Stay true to your hustle. Stay true to yourself. You know what I'm saying? And never fold, man. And and and, and like always. Remain player at all times. Peace.